Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? We're going to try this tonight. We're going to see how this internet pulls off. We're going to, I think maybe I had some problems with Facebook. So we're going to try to pull it off tonight. So I'm going to wait and let you can come on. I have some fantastic news. Hey, Miss Debbie, how are y'all doing? I have some amazing news. Hey, Miss Anna. And y'all hear the toys in the background, so y'all just kind of have to look over that because it's keeping her happy right now. <laughs> but I have some awesome, awesome news, okay? We now have a subscription program for our customers that where you can get the Flawless 4 for $99, and you can get it every month, every two months, or every three months. So, uh, you can sign up for that subscription. You can get any kind of foundation you want. You can get any kind, you can choose between the setting powder and the setting spray. Uh, you get to choose, uh, between the hydrating and the glorious primer. And you get to also choose a concealer. But if you don't need the concealer, you can choose a mascara of your choice instead of the concealer, which is an awesome thing because I know a lot of people. They don't use as much concealer as they do foundation. Hey, everybody. Hey, Miss Susan. Hey, Miss Margie. How are y'all doing? Hey, Miss Susan Waldo. How are you doing? So, I know that that is a great thing. That was one thing I worried about because a lot of my customers don't use as much concealer as they do the setting powder and the foundation. So, um, that is a good thing, and they don't use as much as they do with the primer. So that is a good thing. If you want to, like you can go in and you can edit. You can stop your subscription anytime. It's easy to do. Uh, I signed up for mine today. I had it come every three months. I didn't get the concealer because I had plenty of concealer here. So I got the 4D with mine. You can get the Epic Regular or you can get uh, Waterproof or you can get 4D or Brown. Uh, so I think that is a real neat thing that they did that you could switch it up. You can go in at any time and edit your color. You can go in at any time and edit your uh, mascara. Like say, if this this time you got 4D, you can go in and if you want Waterproof Epic next time, you can go in and you can edit that. It's really, really easy. Uh, it takes no time to set up. Uh, and you can get spray, stick, BB Flawless, your powder foundation, or your liquid touch. It does not matter. So, uh, as long as your color is in stock, you will receive that. If something happens that your color is not in stock, they will let you know. That way, you can uh, choose between something else. And there's a stink bug in here flying around everywhere, y'all. Those things are horrible. Hey, Miss Jackie, how are you? So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I had a real lot of comments on a look that I did the other day with Palette 6. So we're going to be doing Palette 6, and I'm going to also be using, with Palette 6, I'm going to be using this, which is part of our kudos. I'm going to be using this. This is called Reverent. This is one of our liquid shadows. This is the champagne color. So I'm going to be using that, and I don't use the opulence lipstick much, but I'm going to use it tonight. And this is a real neutral nude color. This one is called Affluent. I'm going to be using it with the Prim Lip Liner, okay? which is the eyeliner. This is the eyeliner, but I use this more as a lip liner than I do as an eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put my hair up and get it out of my way. She's got my headband over there, so I'm going to have to just wing it. Hey, Miss Norma. Hey, Miss Brittley. How are you? So what we're going to do first is I've already uh, got my primer on, and I just used the Glorious Primer. I had some left of that. So, I just use that. But, uh, when you're using these, these addiction palettes do not have primer built in, okay? So, you can use eye primer, but what I have been using is I've been using this Victorious uh, Cream Shadow. And it's a real nude, neutral color. And I've been putting this on my eyes. And this is just a really pretty uh, color that kind of gives a look of flesh tone. Hey, Miss Victoria. And I find that this, this dries to a powder. And it's not tacky. So when I go to put my eyeshadow on, it helps my eyeshadow gl glide on better, especially the ones, the addiction palettes that don't have the primer built in. So all it takes is just a little bit. See, it's just a real, and you can use this as concealer. You can use this as concealer as well. And I have done that before too. So I've got that on my eyes. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my palette six and I'm going to start off with this color right here, which is called Impressive. This is the, yes, I love this palette, Miss Susan. This is, this and palette one are two of my favorites. Uh, this is called Impressive. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use, I'm doing good. I'm doing so much better. I had a rough couple of days from Sunday. I didn't feel real good Sunday. But I had a rough couple of days after that and Monday, and I actually thought I was coming down with the flu, but I went and had myself tested and it wasn't the flu. So I, I feel better now, knowing that I don't have the flu. So I'm gonna go in with Impressive, and I'm just gonna go start right, and I'm gonna concentrate right in my crease area. I wore this out for my date night, and I had a lot of comments on my picture, and I had a lot of comments when I went out to eat on the, the eyeshadow. So I thought I'd do this one as a tutorial. So you just want to focus right in that crease area, and you just want to go back and forth like a windshield wiper, just like this. Isn't that color beautiful? And it only takes a little bit of this. Just a little bit. So I'm going right in my crease area back and forth just very slightly back and forth and you want to concentrate right in there right in under your brow bone but right in the inner the uh, middle crease area you just want to concentrate on that for right now so now that we're getting that and you just want to darken it up just enough to be able to to show through your crease that's why I kind of bring it on up to the brow bone. I know there's a lot of Mardi Gras going on. And I may do that, um, the other look that I did that was so bold that had all the different colors in it. Yes, I'm thank goodness it wasn't the flu because I was scared. <laughs> I did not... I did not want the flu, but I was really scared that that was what it was going to be because I really felt pretty bad, but it wasn't, thank the Lord. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of this color, which is called Blazing, okay? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something else. We're going to use Enthralled, okay? We're going to get a bit, little bit of this Enthralled, which is the darker, which is the lighter brown. And we're going to take just a simple brush. We're going to get a little bit of that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start right in our outer V right here. And we're just going to go right in our outer V of our crease. Right in there just to darken that up just a little bit. Y'all hear this thing? She has got this thing going over here. But she's happy. She is happy. So I hope everybody had a good day. It did come out sunshine here after a while. We did get outside a little while and walk because it did kind of, the sunshine did come out quite a bit. So we did get outside today. I see you over there. <laughs> She's over there just gnawing on something. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, and this one is called Blazing, okay? This is our real pretty burgundy, and I'm taking my crease brush, and I'm tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to go right in my crease right here in the outer V, and I'm bringing it on down to my lid just a little bit, just like that. Then I'm going to go... And bring it right up and under my waterline. And it helps if you look up when you do that. So now we're going to do this side. Y'all, I've been using my lash serum again and my lash primer. And my lashes are growing. I mean, they are growing, y'all. They're starting to get long. So now we're going to go under our waterline here. But yeah, I am so proud of that subscription that we have going. We've had a subscription for our, mag for our mascara for a long time. 
but we've never had a subscription where you could get the flawless four, uh, and you know, and because that saves you fifty dollars when you get it like that. It actually saves you fifty bucks when you get it on the subscription, and you can tweak it. Like say, if this month you get it for ever three months, if you see you're going to run out, you could tweak it and you can uh, edit it and have it go back and go to like every uh, two months or every month. It's just whatever you feel you know necessary. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our deluxe brush and we're gonna get a little bit of Calm, which is this very light color. And we're gonna go on our lid. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that on our inner corner and on our lid. Okay, just like that. So now that we have, yes, that serum, if you use it and you start off using it twice a day, I use it morning and night. I use it after I cleanse my face and before I put my, my makeup or anything else on. Hey, Miss Michelle. And then at night after I cleanse my face and I put all my serums and everything on, that's the last thing I do. So I do that after that. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, let's see, we're going to take our cream shadow brush. And I used, uh, the other night I used Delightful, which is this one. But I'm going to use Reverent tonight, which is our, I know I do right now, don't I? I look like a raccoon. So we're going to go in with Reverent. So I'm going to get some on my brush, my cream shadow brush, and I'm going to go in right here where I put that comb. And this is like a shimmer. So that's going to make like a shimmer effect. Just like that. And we're going to get some more. And we're just patting this on, okay? We're just patting it on like this. And these liquid eyeshadows, they dry to a powder and they blend really well. So I'm gonna go right in my inner corner just to highlight it some. Will you please stop? <laughs> she is going crazy over here. So I'm going to take a little bit of Delightful and go on top of that. Just a little bit of that shimmer. Just to give it a little bit more pop. Okay. Will you please? Oh, Lord. She is giving it the business over here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty rough right now, though, don't it? Hi, hey, Miss Ashley. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of... Let me find my crease brush, what I did with it. I'm going to get a little bit more of Blazing, which is the, the burgundy. And I'm just going to blend that in. I know y'all hear that music. But what it was is my um, settings. I think it was the settings on Facebook last week. I had not updated in a while. Miss Michelle, you were right. And uh, when I, hey, Miss Misty. So when I didn't update, it kind of threw everything for a loop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, this is called, proper eyeliner and this is the dark brown and I'm going to go along the top of my lash line just like that
Last night I didn't do a live because I went to a ladies meeting at Locust Grove Baptist Church, y'all, and I had the best time. Um, it was just amazing. I had, I did, I had the best time. I was so proud I went. I went with Miss Diane Horton from church, and I was so proud that I went because I, I mean, it was really, really good. We had a missionary that is going to be going to Peru. She's going to be going to Peru to live as a missionary. And she spoke last night, and it was so good. She was talking about the woman at the well, and she was talking about what are you doing with what you have been given. And it really spoke to me. It really spoke to me about how I can... Through my business and through doing this, that I might be able to reach somebody for Christ. And it really spoke to me as, you know, I never thought of it that way. But, you know, you can do it. Oh, congratulations, Miss Christine. I'm so proud. I'm so proud I've been missing you. I really have been missing you. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this proper... Yes. <laughs> Hi, Miss Becky. You're dancing to that music. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I hear that music in my sleep. That and Peppa Pig. I hear Peppa Pig in my sleep. I know you don't. So we're taking a little proper. And we're lining underneath our uh, water line. So now what we're going to do is going to do a little 4D. Now this 4D is amazing, y'all. If you have not tried our 4D, you need to. If you ever got the 3D and you didn't like it, please give 4D a chance. Because I did not like 3D either, but I love the 4D. So I'm going to, you take the wand and you roll, wiggle, and roll. Wiggle and roll. Now the Epic is good. I like the Epic, but when you really want some big lashes... 4D, 4D is the way to go. I like to try to do my lives when she's already gone home, but her mother doesn't pick her up till 8 o'clock, so it's so late. And I know it's late for you, you gals because y'all have to get up and go to work. So I just try to go ahead and do it the best I can before then. And you just wiggle and roll. Some people blink. I just, it's easier for me just to roll it. To roll the brush. Because it's a two sided brush. There's short bristles and long bristles on each side. And that's what gives you your, your length and your volume. So now we're going to do this side. And I did put my primer on first. That's what that white stuff was. So here we go, we just wiggle and roll and pull them up. But as of the 28th or the 29th of February, we will no longer have a dish. We have cut the cord. The bill got so high, y'all. It just got so high. So we got a fire stick. And we've been trying it out before we cut our dish, y'all. Uh, our dish, y'all. And we just love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. But if any of y'all have any questions about the subscription program, you can message me. I'll be proud to answer any questions you have. Uh, if you need a color match for some foundation, because the spray will be coming back March 9th. It's not going to be much longer, and it'll be back in stock. Because I know a lot of people are wondering about that. Thank you. <laughs> Wiggle and roll. That's how yeah, I have to get out of Exactly true. Hey, Miss Pam. That's how I have to get out of bed every morning, too. Usually, it's a little bit harder than wiggle and roll here lately. It's kind of like, it's kind of like just tug and roll <laughs> here lately. So, tonight, I'm going to be using the stick. And because I've been sparing my spray foundation out. So what I have learned is, 
to make your stick foundation go on a little better, I have learned people have said put it on your brush first, then go in. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my brush, and I'm going to see how that works to see if I can get it to do a little better. And it seems like it is. And I'm using the color Islet. So I'm just taking this and I'm stippling it in. And you see all this redness? You see how that covered it up? If you want some good coverage, this stick is for you. But I will tell you, if you do get the stick, I do recommend getting the primer. Because it's kind of a thick, it's kind of a thick, um, consistency and it to me it just goes on better if you use your primer first see the difference you see the difference of the cup of the coverage hey miss angela honey i'm gonna tell you our 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 uh dish bill got so yes i'm seeing your comments i just read some i'm just now seeing them i'm just now seeing them miss debbie Facebook has been weird. I'm going to tell you, it's been really, really weird. Yeah, well, now we got a fire stick because my daughter, uh, my daughter, her husband had a fire stick. So that's what they have, Miss Christina. So we got decided to get that and try it out. And I absolutely love it. And we can get Hulu with live TV for half the price of what we pay for dish. Because our dish bill got up to like $109. And I was thinking, I mean, because I don't watch that much TV, to be honest. Really, she watches it more than I do. But what I do like to watch, I do like to watch it every now and then. And uh, it was just getting so, so expensive. So, we tried it, and I absolutely love it. So, I ordered another fire stick from Amazon today to go in the living room because you can't use the same one. You have to get one or another for the TV. So, I got another one to go on the TV in the bedroom. So, we're going to try that out in there, and I'm going to get in. It should be in either Thursday or tomorrow. I'm going to take a little bit more of that Impressive, which is that color right there, and I'm going to put it right in here and just kind of darken that up some because I don't have it quite dark enough as I want it. Just like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now we started to get a Roku and Miss Debbie how long have y'all had, how long have you had your, um, uh, how long have y'all been without y'all's, uh, dish? Did y'all have direct TV or dish? Because we had, we had dish. And I know some people are complaining about, uh, direct TV, about how they've gotten really high too. And a lot of people have, have, um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzer and I'm going to contour a little bit. Right along in there. And we'll come out and we'll blend this out in just a second. So I'm just going to go right along under my bur under there. Then we're going to blend this out. And two, y'all don't forget about our kudos. Our kudos, you can get, um, you get to pick between two of these liquid shadows. You, gosh, I can't even remember what you get now. You get two liquid shadows. You get to choose between any kind of color, lip color, and something else. I can't even remember what else you get. I'd have to look it back up to see what else. So now I'm going to take this concealer part, and I'm going to go down my nose. I'm going to shape this. But, yeah, Miss Debbie, how long have y'all been without, how long have y'all been cut the cord from that?
Yeah, well, we had just got tired of paying that kind of money for that. I mean, it was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. For no more channels than what we were getting because half of what we had on our dish we didn't even watch. A lot of it was that sports stuff, and we don't watch a lot of sports. And if you watch sports, I mean, it's okay. But we just don't watch a lot of sports. So I'm going to put a little bit right up and under there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of this. And y'all please like and share. It helps me out a lot. Hey, Miss Sabrina. So I'm going to take a little bit of Scarlet Concealer. Hey, Miss Robin. Take a little bit of Scarlet Concealer. I'm going to go right up and under here. You want to make a V shape. And I'm going to put some right on my forehead. Down my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. What is this? And we're just going to put that on. This is our concealer. And mainly what I use concealer for is to highlight. I really don't use it to conceal much. I just use it mainly to highlight. So we're going to take a little bit of a damp blending bud. And we're just going to blend this in. And you want to mash this in. You do not want to rub it because that way you're not taking off your product. You just want to mash it in. That's where a lot of people make mistakes with their concealer. And they want to know, well, why is it caking or why is it not covering? It's because you're rubbing. You're not, you need to press it in instead of rub it off. Okay. So now we're going to go back, because I think we covered up a little bit of our contour, so we're going to go back and do that just a little bit right there. So now that we have that, I have to put my glasses on to make sure I've got it all mixed in. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Brittany. Hi, Miss Vicky. Yes, now that is what we're going to get. We're, we have got... Uh, we're going to get Hulu and Disney Plus, but really what it is is my son drives a truck. I don't watch much Disney, but now she does, okay? So what it is is he's got Hulu and he's got Disney Plus. So he gave me the password so we could just log into his account and watch it here without having to pay for it. So I said, well, that just works for me because he doesn't watch it all the time because he's driving. So, that way we get to use his, like, because, you know, you can use, I think, up to two or three people can use it. So, he gave me his password, so we're, we're just using it for her, the Disney Plus, you know, for her instead of having to pay for it ourselves. So, I'm taking a little bit of poplin powder, and I'm just setting all up, especially where I have my concealer, I'm going to set that. Especially right around in my T-zone, where I tend to get a little bit more oily. We're going to set right around in there. Just like that. It takes very little, just a little bit, because I just want to set right up and under there where I put my concealer. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little, uh, this is called Surreal Blush, and it kind of matches my eyeshadow. So we're going to be doing that. And you want to smile. That way you get the apples of your cheeks. See there in that pretty? I love this color. It's so pretty. That surreal is a really, really, really beautiful color. So now we're going to do our eyebrows. We're going to try to, and not look like Cameron Munster, but we're going to try to do our eyebrows. Let me find my eyebrow brush. So we're using the brunette palette, okay, and we're going to start with the darker color. And we're going to go in. And we're going to outline the bottom. 
Lord, they're singing about a camel over here. So we're going to outline that. Then we're going to go back in and we're going to outline the top. Come back down with our tail. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to just feather this out. And make our fade in the front of our brow. I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter powder, which is this lighter color. I'm really, really excited about that subscription program because that way you can, I mean, if you ever get tired that you don't want to do it, it's really simple to cancel. I mean, all you have to do is log into your account and you just cancel it. It's no problem. No hassle. Not like some other subscription programs. And the thing I liked about Hulu, I will tell you that I did not know that my daughter told me. Is like if we decide to go on vacation and we're not going to be here, we can suspend our Hulu and it won't charge us for when we're not here. I mean, who does that? That's a lot better because, I mean, if we leave and we had our dish... <laughs> it was, we're paying for it whether we, you know, whether we used it or not. But you can suspend it till you get back. And that way you're not paying for it while you're on vacation or somewhat. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're feathering that out. We're going to take a little bit of the lighter color. And one of my brows always looks better than the other. It always happens that way. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this pink highlighting color. I'm going to get a little bit of that. And I'm going to go right up under my brow line. Brow line. I said brow line. Lord, we don't go under the brow line. And we just smooth that out. And we just highlight right up and under the brow, the brow bone. That gives it just a little bit of shape and a little bit of color. So now that we have this done, now what we're going to do is our lips. See, this doesn't take very long if, I, if I'm not running my lips and not running my mouth. So I'm going to take a little bit of prim line up. Uh, Eyeliner. And we're going to line our lips. So you line your lips, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this really pretty color here. And you just rub it together. And see how it makes a really, really pretty color? <coughs> Excuse me. You just rub it together, and it kind of creates an ombre effect. And this color that I'm using is called um, Affluent. I'm using Affluent. That's this color right here in the Opulent Lipstick. And I used, this color is called Prim, and it's in the eyeliner section. But I use it more as a lip liner than I do a, than I do a, um, uh, eyeliner so let me see if I can get my hair down off my head I washed my hair tonight and it's kind of flat on my head but we're gonna go with it anyway but this is the look what do y'all think 
I may not got it quite as dark as I did the other night, but you can darken it up if you want to. Um, <coughs> I may darken it up just a tad with a little bit of that blazing. So let me darken it just a tad. On my outer V. Just like this. So, I'll make sure I got just the right amount. A little bit under there, kind of. There we go. Just to darken it up just a little bit. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it looks about as good as it did the other day? I'm going to take some pictures and I'll post them later. <coughs> but I love Palette 6. If you're on the fence about what palette to get, Palette 6 is a really, really, really beautiful color. And has beautiful colors in it. Palette 1 is a really, really pretty neutral color too. So if y'all think y'all need anything, if you need a color match, let me know. I can help get you set up on the subscription plan if you think you might be interested in that. It's really easy to do. It's really easy to cancel anytime you want to cancel. You can edit it with whatever you need to. <coughs> so I'm going to get off of here because it's going to be time for her mama a little bit. So y'all have a wonderful night and I'll see y'all later. Just message me if you think you might need anything. I'll see y'all later. Bye.